Hey, what's going on? Uh, Mr. Parker here to do a review for, uh, I guess, Cheesy Flicks, more so MVD. Uh, the movie I'll be reviewing is a famous one, an infamous one. Uh, I actually remember hearing about this back in high school. My film teacher was telling me about it, and uh, you know, I just finally got a chance to check it out now. This was sent to me to review. I requested it. I had heard uh, about it. Uh, it's a very popular movie. It's Andy Warhol's Bad. I have seen Andy Warhol's Frankenstein, Andy Warhol's Dracula. But, uh, you know how that goes. Anyways, uh, this is uh, from Cheesy Flicks. You know, it's kind of like a typical VHS release, something like that, put on DVD. But uh, I don't know if this movie has any other release, really. It, it deserves a fucking remastered special edition. Uh, this movie was made in 1977. And for 1977, this movie had probably some of the most sleazy, disgusting people ever. That's why it's called bad, you know, just bad people, bad everything, bad taste, bad everything, man. Everyone in this movie is just a bad person almost, except the only person who has redeeming qualities is so high strung and worries about everything. It's kind of funny that uh, the only person who has a soul is the one who's worrying about everything else. Look! Look at this, see how stupid people are? They're making us rob the car. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to. I want to walk around here. Shut up. Get in the car. There's a fire around here. There's no fire. They're only going to the bathroom or lunch, right, Glenda? Get in the car. I don't want to. Glenda, what's wrong with you? Don't you want to go for a ride? Get in the car. Mary, are you coming? Okay, okay. Should I get in the back seat? Hey, mister, you got a dollar? No, I don't. Do you have a dollar? Oh. But anyways, uh, this woman runs kind of this, uh, her own business where she, uh, people call her and she goes through these girls, hires these girls to do out horrible deeds. Uh, some of the deeds are just ridiculously disgusting and they're just so immoral and just for money and everything. Uh, there's a pair of twins that, uh, try to kill this old Irish cop's dog to get back because this, uh, heavy, this fat lady across the street was upset at the cop for calling her fat in a bar or something like that. The cop is Lawrence Tierney. Everyone knows him from Reservoir Dogs. I thought it was him. Uh, and the credits confirmed it. Uh, it's kind of a, he's a very small role, but uh, he's great in it. That whole scene is really great, and it's really actually disgusting. And this is one of the only movies that I would say that you can peel the dirt and feel the dirt and feel the sleaze. And it's just unnerving. It's so disgusting, I could say. It's just like so many, oh man, I just wanted to punch and destroy some of these people. Okay, Julie. What do you say? Time we go have a few with the boys, huh? Come on, babe. Hey, what is it? Give him in the ball, that bastard. Let go of my arm. Son of a bitch. Are you crazy? Julie, my God, what did they do to you? Julie! <sighs> but anyways, 
basically uh, Perry King's in it from uh, Class of 1984 and Killing Hour. He uh, kind of moves in there and uh, he's supposed to do this horrible job. He's supposed to kill an autistic kid. And uh, he's lounging around the house a lot. And there's a lot of tension between him and the lady. He has a thing for her. She can't stand him. All sorts of things like that. Uh, the ending is pretty good. It's uh, really cool. She also has all sorts of things. She deals with everything. It's kind of like uh, the person who's willing to be broke versus the person who will do anything to make money and thrive on their own without help from anybody else. But uh, the movie Bad is uh, has some really, really memorable scenes in here, some really sleazy, trashy stuff. And uh, I don't want to give too much away, but uh, one scene involves a baby, and that's what my teacher had told me years ago. That scene is just jaw-dropping, and for the time, I just imagined that people were in an uprise and were freaking out about it. Uh, I thought the acting was pretty good for the most part. Uh, the character of Mary, I actually uh, really enjoyed. She has a baby, and they're talking about all these horrible things, killing an autistic kid and stuff. And she's sitting there. She's uh, the daughter-in-law of the lady who runs the place. She's kind of stranded there. She's really weird and high strong like they said and full and really nervous and at one point uh, a couple of the other girls take her out and they leave her downtown in New York City when they steal a car they just drive off and leave her and there's just a lot of play things in this movie a lot of politically incorrect stuff a lot of uh, racial tension a lot of slurs a lot of crazy stuff and uh, you know it made me think a little bit more Perry King would do this movie I mean I've seen him do some a couple of testy movies but this one really pushed the boundaries and especially for the time in the 70s but uh, yeah I'd really recommend this movie this release is fairly cheap uh, you could probably get it for under ten dollars shipped but uh, yeah it's bad it's Andy Warhol's bad and it's pretty damn good but really bad at the same time. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one. How's the hairy leg business doing? You must be making a lot of money at that, too. Enough to get by. Nobody likes hair. Everybody today wants to be more feminine. Yeah, even some women are getting into that, too. But I haven't heard from you in a couple of months. Now, why don't you give me something that will make my job easier? Who's this? Oh, this is my nephew, detective. Your nephew? That's right. Can't you detect the resemblance? He stopped in New York on his way south. He'll be with us for a day or two. When relatives are staying, you take it easy. You don't get much work done, do you know? Oh, look. He brought me this. It's a gift from my sister. Isn't it lovely? Things have been slow, but they'll pick up when my nephew leaves. I promise. Listen, I was in Woolworths the other day, and I sat down at the lunch counter, and I asked the girl, I saw the sign for cocoa bananas, you know, and asked the girl to bring me one, and she brought it, and it was in bright green syrup. And I told Marilou, look at this hideous eclair, and the guy next to me said, what? Did you say something? And I said, I said nothing to you, sir. Turn around and mind your own business and eat your bun. He was eating a muffin. And then I said, turn around, you fat fuck. And he lunged at me. I was screaming, help, help, get him off me, get him off me. But nobody helped. The place was full of faggots, and nobody helped me. And, and I couldn't fight. And I hit the raisin machine, I hit the gumball machine, I hit the peanut machine, everything, you know? And then I got him out the door, and he grabbed me right what there. What the hell is this? My sister had quite a time with this one. When will we see you again?